The Miami Marlins would move right into the middle of Little Havana. Fortunately for the nearby residents, not much parking was provided by the Marlins, thus creating a new parking market. Ronaldo Jose Garcia gives us his thoughts on the situation. Uh, the spaces are being sold um, depending on uh, the amount of flow of cars coming in through the area, as well as the games. Sometimes the events are bigger than others, so depending on that, prices do vary. Others, like Joe Rivera, saw another opportunity that Marlins Park provided. It's a good impact on the business. A lot of people are tourists to the town. A lot of people are uh, old-timers that come here for the Orange Bowl, when the Orange Bowl used to be here. Now it's a modern stadium, so people enjoy it. It's fun. You see a lot of traffic and new faces, so it's pretty cool for the area. I think it stimulates the economy around the neighborhood, and hopefully the Marlins start um, sharing some of their welfare and help better this neighborhood. With so many different people selling spaces, there's lots of competition. Richard Sal Cruzado shares what his strategy is. Well, you just see them, you know, you compete with what, what the signs are up. If a 10 signs up, you put a 10 up. If they put a 15, you put a 15. As you can see behind me, this lot right here is full. It may be kind of small, but if you want to succeed in this entrepreneur type job, you got to make the most of what you got. Some of the signs may look suspicious, but these lots are safe. I would definitely say that it's, it's safer to park in someone's property. You know, number one, you're in a private owned property where it's actually, it's, it's guarded by a, by a rail. You're in someone's house where they're there watching over your car, uh, you know, during the time that you're in at the game and you won't be towed or you won't park somewhere we're not supposed to and then run the risk of losing your car that night. Sergio Guarnizo has actually become one resident's client. Well, I mean, last week I came for the Marlins game. It was the Astros. Uh, it was straight, nothing happened, so, you know, might as well try it again. YOLO. For UMTV, Jeffrey Jabert.